Hey y'all, this is Jeremy back at the Archery Shack. We're going to restring a Matthews Halon today, and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So here we go. All right, we are going to restring a Matthews Halon with a custom set of solid silver strings. So I think it'll look good. We got this stone colored riser. We even did the uh, speed knocks in silver, so that'll be cool. So this is the Matthews five piece set. So we gotta pop the axles out. I need another Allen wrench. Take these axles loose. Get this thing looking good. It's got a trophy taker limb driven wrist on it and a nice CBE sight. Get this thing restrung, get it tuned up. All right, we got our axle out. Matthews has these nice thick axles, I like that. Go ahead and take the string loose. Okie doke, we'll take our cam out, pop the little yoke cable loose, take cable loose, see if we can get this bed out from around this little plastic piece. Pull our cable through the roller guard. Just about ready to put the new one on. Always keep the old strings just in case they need them for something else. Okay, we'll take our new yoke cable, wrap it around this little plastic connector. Then we'll take a new cable feed it through itself. Like so. And there we go. That's what it looks like. Now, we'll feed it into the cam. Put it in these little, these things are free floating. It gives it a little more let off than uh, some other manufacturers I've seen that had sort of a, not a ball bearing in there. I like this design pretty good. All right, we'll get our yoke on, pop it in the top hat. I don't know what you can see. We got our two top hats here. Built, they push into the limb so there's not a bunch of little spacers that go flying when you take one of these cams off. I really like that. And they do offer kits you get through a Matthews dealer if you needed to shim the cam one way or another. You just change out the top hat. So one of the better ideas I've ever seen. I wish more people did it that way. We'll put our little bushing on here. Get our screw started. And then the axle has a screw on each side. Here's a close-up of the top hat bushings. My camera actually stopped. I hope I didn't... I don't know why it turned off. I'm going to try to hold it right here. I got it in a tripod. These... Let me get my hand down here. These are your top hat bushings here and here. So from Matthews, you can get a different kit, a couple different kits, if you, if you got in some sort of a tuning mess, which I've only, so far had one and it was on a uh, monster wake oh now we're all combobulated hopefully the camera don't turn off on me this time uh anyway i, I had it i just could not get a uh tear out of it so i ended up taking some top hats and moving them around and it, it worked out for me but 
most of the time the factory the way they have it from the factory is on point but it makes it easier for me when they think out stuff like that put our screw back in this side cooking. Now I'll feed this cable back through the roller guard the opposite way. Put my little string through it. Kind of mash it down to make it slimmer. We serve these loops so once in a blue moon you have to tug on it a little bit. But I, I like to have the protection of the serve loop versus the tag in wrap deal. That one's giving me a little bit of a tug, so I'm going to wrap it around some needle nose and just gently tug and it pulled right through. I wouldn't get too wild there, but normally a little gentle tugging action will get it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take this, hook it on the bottom cam. There we go. Take the top one and do the same. She's on. I actually went through the yoke, not meaning to, so I'll set it to the side. Now, let me grab the camera and show you what's going on. We got our cables on through that roller there. I'm going to flip to the other side. Oh, I'm hitting stuff. Pardon my bad camera experience. And then we've got the two cables hooked on the bottom of the cam. Now, I'm going to put the string itself on. Let me get this back focused so y'all can pass. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put the string itself on. And then he's got a drop away, but it's a limb driven, so we don't have to put anything in the cable. I'll go ahead and stick the peep in. So we can tie it in later. While I'm in the press, I try to do as much as possible to go ahead and get it what I can get done. Got it. I'm gonna give it a crank or two. There we go. Perfect. Now from here, uh, I'll stick his peep in, and then we'll go over to the vise, and we'll, we'll go ahead and loop it, make sure the cam timing's right after we loop it. I'll take his old string and set his peep height perfect, and uh, we'll be on a good start. He did not leave me an arrow, so I can't show you the paper tuning of it just yet, but um, he told me it was an axis arrow, so I can at least use an axis arrow to get everything leveled and squared. And then when he gets here, we'll take his actual arrow and paper tune it and go outside and walk back to it. But let me stick the peep in and I'll meet you over at the bow vise. I don't know which one you trust. All right, we're back over here. I got the peep side in. I'm going to cut this uh, cord loose. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to loosen it. Let this rest come up. Perfect. I'm going to level the bow like that I'm going to put a full metal jacket in it click it in put on the arrow level perfect I'm going to grab me a piece of serving and I'm going to tie my little inner knots here's the one I want right here Get these started. Get it level. If 
can get it level. She's trying. Not quite there yet. There we are. Okay. I'm going to tie on these knocks. Little inner knocks inside the loop. Make sure we still level there. We still level there. I'm going to get rid of these because they're going to fall off and get stepped on. Tie these jokers on. You've probably seen it in my other videos, but the reason I do this is to prevent knock, pinch, and preload. You could definitely not do this and still be fine. I just like to do it. It does. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Hopefully it does you do you too. We got our top one done. Get it good and tight. Square it off. Okay, now I'll burn this. Boom yeah. I'm going to do one on the bottom. And when I do the bottom one, I'll give it like one wrap of serving clearance from the bottom knock. So that it don't, so that these knocks don't pinch. If that makes any sense. I'm getting it there. Right there. Okay. I'm going to tie on our bottom piece. Just like the top. And then the loop will go on the top and bottom of these. And for a couple reasons, like if you needed to change a loop out, the release ate it up, or you needed a longer one, or whatever, these two tied knocking points are a good reference they'll never move so not a big deal it's something i do with pretty much any boat you really don't need it on a whisker biscuit but most of the time i end up doing it anyway it looks good we'll square this off get it locked down we'll get rid of this arrow for a minute burn this Give it a little tap. Perfect. And then over that knot, not on the serving itself, not on the center serving, I'm gonna put a dab of glue so that it don't fray up from the arrow knot coming off of there. Hit it with some accelerator. Give it a second. I got a nice silver loop to match. I can't tell which way y'all are looking. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to back it way up. Let's see if you can see better. If I can let this thing down. Now we're cooking. Now you can see. Make sure. I don't know if this will stay focused. It looks good for now. I'm going to burn this. Get all my air out of that. Got a nice big, woo, I got a nice big ball on the end there. Let it get cool. Give it a second. Here's our two things I just tied. Mm, I don't know how close I can get with this being on a tripod. I'm trying. It won't focus. Mm -hmm. There we go. Can you see that? That's our two knots. Anyway, wasn't the clearest thing in the world. I'm going to tie the bottom on. Slide it up to that bottom one. Get it kind of snug. I'm going to tie the top on. Usually I go by the customer's 
particular release on how big I make these. I'm going to cut this. We'll untie it a little bit. Burn that top knot. Beautiful. Give that a second. Hopefully we're still, yeah, we're still in pretty good focus. Tap it a couple times, get it better. Hopefully you can see that. Get that one cooled down. Tie it back. Then, I'm going to take a little bitty set of Craftsman needle nose, and I'm going to just get this thing sort of snugged up. I don't want it to dig in. I'm going to pull it, and we'll push those knots together. About right there is where I want it for now. Because what's going to happen is, I'm going to tie in this peep, and it's probably going to make this loop kick one way or another, so I need to be able to adjust it. From where I'm at. Let me back us back up like that. I'm gonna take everyone in there. I'm gonna take his string, line the loops up, put the peep where exactly where it was at. Right there's us. Now we'll tie in this peep sack. Okie doke. I'm going to try to tie in this peep sight with this camera sort of in front of my, where I need to be, but I think I can make it happen so you can see it. We'll try it. I'm going to try to reach over. How's this? What we're going to do is start with a normal sort of a serving, like we'd start a center serving or anything like that. I'm going to wrap it five or six times, and then I'm going to cinch it down good. I'm going to keep on wrapping, pretty much keeping up in my head with how many times I wrapped it so when I get to the other end, I can make it match. Still focused good. I'm going to take the tag, hold it out of the way, keep on going. Every couple wraps I'll give it a good tug make sure it cinches down you got to be careful that it's not pushing the peep up right now it's not we're still focused good now on one leg of this string I'm gonna wrap this serving up just like that I think you can see that. If not, I'll get closer or take a picture or something here in a minute. Perfect. Need a couple more wraps in there. Ultimately, we're going to go up one leg, around the peep a few times. Get these spread out pretty even. Now we're cooking. I'll take my finger and get these wraps just perfect like I want them. And we'll keep going in the same direction the whole time. And we'll go around that peep about three times. And then I'm going to go keep going up that same leg on top of the peep. Let me see. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to even see if it will zoom a little bit for you. How's that? Hopefully you can see that kind of. Still going in the same direction. I'm going to keep feeding this through pardon me if I hit the camera it's right where I normally stand so I'm trying to reach over and around as I do this <laughs> John's laughing at me 
One more wrap. Beautiful. Now, I'm pulling it pretty snug, but I'm going to get these wraps spaced out. I'm going to go around the whole string about twice. And now, I'm going to turn it so you can see it. We pretty much have a matching bottom and top. I'm going to start going back around the whole string. And about every three, I'm going to give it a good tug, make sure it's nice and tight. Then I'm going to do our little serving line. knot. That would have not been the main thing to do. I got Just like that. Now, we're going to wrap this. As I'm wrapping this side, this other side is unwrapping. I can do a video on that if y'all need it. On like serving stuff. Just let me know. And we're going around every couple. I'm giving it a good tug. Now we're looking good. I'm going to get this around my finger if I can get it. Pull it down tight. Alright, that's good and snug. Usually I'll take these little pliers and wrap it a few times, pull it. Now, I'll take my lighter, I'll burn these off very carefully. And then I'm going to burn them down, tap them. I'm going to flip it so you can see it. Burn it down. Tap it. Now, the peep was straight. Now it's a little bit crooked because what we did was took this string twist and compressed it towards the peep. So it'll make it twist a little bit. Not something to worry about because I can put a half a twist in the bottom of the uh, string and fix it. So I'm not really worried about it. So I'm going to back back up. Oop. How's that? Didn't really mean to do that but it looks cool don't it that's what it looks like this way of serving in a peep usually will absolutely not move whatsoever because we got it uh, against the string up the side one one continuous piece of serving so let me zoom us back out okie doke now what we're gonna do is get our rest locked back down um, I'm not going to, I've got it level, I'm not going to mess with this center shot just yet because the bow was shooting good to start with, so just by eyeballing it, the center shot looks like it's dead on, that's, when I say eyeballing it, I'm putting the string dead center of the riser, and then the rest is dead center of the string, so that's a good starting point, without getting out all my gauges and stuff. I'm going to snug this rest back down, and then we're going to go to the draw board and check the cam timing. All right, we're over here at the draw board. Matthews has these spiffy little uh, timing marks, and we're close, but I think just by looking at them, we're a hair off, but I'm going to check it. Um, I don't always, I mean, I don't just look at the timing mark and say it's good. I always draw it back and check it. So let's see what we got going on. I got this camera on a tripod, but I'll show you the best I can. What? Everything looks like. I'm gonna pull it back. It will check our poundage. Let's see. Check our poundage. What are you doing here? I know you serve it. Let's see. Looks like it is right on 70. And then we're gonna check our draw stops. Boom, our top one is hitting just before the bottom. So we're gonna need a tiny adjustment. I'm going to try my best to move this camera so you can see it. Let's see here. Alright, there. I'm trying to get to it so you can see it. We're just barely off of that cable. But up here, we're touching it. Does that make any sense? So, I'm going to go give... Probably one twist 
and I'm gonna bring that bottom cam around and check it again. And it may take a time or two to get it perfect, but we'll get it there. All right, we put us a twist in the top cam. We're gonna see what she does. I'm trying to hold my phone and do this so I can get closer. Oops, I about just dropped it, my bad. Uh, let's see, we're right on 70 pounds. Oh, we went over 70 and then it backed back off. Now I'm watching. These jokers. Boom. Let's see if I can show you the. I can't really show you both at the same time holding this camera, but they are dead. Dead on the money. We're touching. And we're touching. From where I'm at back here, which you won't be able to really see, but I can watch them both at the same time and boom, you yeah. So normally I'd go and paper tune at this point, but I don't have his arrow. So I pretty much got to just wait until he shows up at this point. Um, in my experience, you know, 90% of the time it'll paper, turn, paper tune perfect right here. And I can even look up at this scale. And he's holding uh, about 13 pounds at full draw. And... He was pulling 70. I didn't let it all the way down. On the way back, so that's about all we can do right now without him being here. But uh, if you got any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. We restrung it. We got our time. We got the loop on. Peeps tied in. When he gets here, all we got to do is shoot it through the paper and take him outside and do a little work. So. Appreciate y'all watching.